Peace and love, everybody. It's your Rozo here. And um, today I have a very, very, very special guest. I have um, a master numerologist. I've been doing it for quite some time. I have the brother uh, Lavelle Rouser. And um, Mr. Rouser, will you please, um, and I, I tell all my, um, my guests to okay. kind of explain who they are, what they do, etc. You know, anything you want to let the people know? Okay, then. Okay, well, as you've said, brother, uh, my name is Lavelle Rouser. I'm a numerologist, master of numerologist, uh, and a master of numerologist because that's what the people say, because I have been uh, doing numerology, consulting, teaching, educating numerology for more than 40 years now here in uh, the metro Atlanta area. I first began to uh, become involved with numerology back in 1966. Uh, actually, the exact date was June 6, 1966. I was introduced to numerology by an exchange teacher who, uh, prior to uh, teaching me and uh, other fellow students uh, uh, elementary education, uh, I through her sharing of her experiences uh, throughout uh, Africa, Asia, and in Europe. Uh, one day she shared with us that uh, she lived in Egypt, which we know as Kemet or Tamari, and the um, teacher, her name was Miss Garrity, uh, explained to us also that she could see the pyramid, the Great Pyramid of Giza, just outside of her window. In her, in her apartment. And I became very fascinated when she began to show us different uh, uh, pictures and aerial views, photos of, uh, ancient, uh, of this ancient site. But the spark was really when she made mention of the connection of numerology with the ancient pyramids in Africa. And when she said that, uh, it was like a bolt of lightning that hit me. I jumped out of my seat as a student in the classroom and uh, I said, I know about that, I know about that. And as I sat down, I began to look around and uh, I took notice how everyone was looking at me and I said to myself, well, I don't know anything about numerology. But that sparked my interest. It sparked me so much that I began to uh, visit bookstores that had books on numerology. I didn't buy the books at the time, but I would read the books and put them back on the shelf. <laughs> okay, and I did that for a number of years. And the reason for that is, is that I grew up in a Baptist, very religious family. And back in 1966, 67, late 60s, that was not just something that you presented to the elders in your family. Mm -hmm. But as I uh, continued to develop and to uh, grow uh, with the knowledge of the numbers themselves, uh, it piqued my curiosity even more. And so with that, uh, uh, the study of numerology continued to grow uh, with me through college, okay? And I uh, attended Hampton uh, Institute, which, were, which was the name of it back then, uh, which presently is known as Hampton uh, University. So this is a shout out to all the Hampton folks <laughs> and all the folks who have ever visited Hampton. Another VA, another yeah. VA. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> in Virginia. And so after that, I uh, spent in a year in New York, uh, a year or two in New York City, and then I moved here to Atlanta in 1977. Upon arriving here in 1977, I realized it was somewhat of a, of a void with uh, people having the knowledge of numerology, so I began to uh, introduce other people to numerology, and then I began to uh, have sessions, private sessions with people, and then by the time the 80s came up, I began to uh, 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 lecture on numerology. Uh, there's one particular uh, elder, gentleman, brother that I'd like to bring out that uh, we lectured together, 
uh, back in the mid '80s, and that is a brother that some people may know on the internet as Brother C. Freeman L. Mm. And uh, he and I, uh, we lectured together for about four, four to five years and stayed in contact. I mean, we had a constant exchange uh, dealing with numerology, ancient history, metaphysics, so forth and so on. Uh, I continued my studies in numerology and began teaching more and more and more and doing more consultations for people. And so that brings up to where we are right now. And uh, I find that there has been a great, great, great interest in numerology now, more than I have ever ex experienced in my time of doing numerology, and I'm so elated that this is happening. Uh, I have, uh, I could say in the last 10 years, uh, the interest in numerology has seemed to explode, mm. okay? My interest, though, is that people receive the proper guidance and knowledge on the number of vibrations because the number of vibrations uh, is part of our culture. The numerology is part of our culture. It may not have always been called numerology, but it is numerology, okay, from a modern day perspective. And uh, when I look back and I study the history of Dr. Ben Yakinen, Dr. John Henry Clark, and, uh, uh, and uh, Dr. Leonard Jeffries and other people, uh, Dr. Asa Hilliard, uh, uh, Brother Obadelli, Larry Williams. These were all people that I learned a great deal from. And whenever I asked them about the numbers in numerology, they were always able to direct me to uh, exact information that gave me a better understanding and inclination of what the vibrations were really, really, really all about. Okay. And so I have to uh, thank all of them for uh, uh, doing their magnificent work so that we can be at the place where we are now to uh, acquire and to learn and to grow deeper in the knowledge of, uh, of uh, vibrations and uh, frequencies and spectrums. Okay? And I uh, say. And uh, so. Uh, it is with my uh, humble interest to always be willing to share with people. Over the years, I've done, I know, at least over 10,000 uh, numerology consultations and readings. And so with that, uh, I'd like to share it more because uh, I know that there's a greater need now than ever before for people to know who they are. One of the things which I found very perplexing when I first started with numerology was how little people knew of themselves and about themselves. And I find that once a person, once a soul becomes more aware of who they are, uh, they feel empowered. And when they feel empowered, they feel as though that they can conquer the world. And that's what we need to do because that's, as a people, what we have always done was to conquer the world. Not conquer the world in such a, 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 a negative way, but to conquer the world in such that everyone on the planet can uh, uh, elevate in consciousness, okay? And that's why the mystery school systems that we developed in ancient times were so very, very important. And so that brings me up to speaking about a particular personage uh, by the name of Pythagoras, or Pythagoras, as some people may know him. He was a philosopher, a mathematician. Uh, he was a person who uh, had his own school of study, of numerology, his own temple. But even he had to go to the land of Kemet, or Talmary, to ascertain his knowledge. Uh, it is spoken that, and it's written that he spent uh, a little over 20 years uh, acquiring the knowledge that he has. And he is held up in high esteem in uh, history as being an illustrious mind who was capable of dealing with music, sound, healing, numbers, numerology, symbolism, and therefore, and there, thereof. So the numerology... Uh, when I started to study Pythagoras and 
went deeper into my studies of uh, ancient uh, Kemet, uh, I've, I realized that uh, you know this numerology is much more vast, much more deeper. And so that's why today, after more than 40 years, actually after more than 50 years of study, I still get elated by uh, delving into the, the mysteries of numbers and sound and vibrations and symbolisms and colors and, and how it affects and has its place in our life, uh, in our world each and every day. Now numerology is an ancient science, but it has been brought to a level of being more modern. Uh, there are many, many systems in numerology, but uh, there are two that I like to bring up the most. Uh, that first one being the what they call the Chaldean system of numerology that came out of uh, ancient Chaldee, the Ur of the Chaldee, and then the uh, 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 Pythagorean system of numerology. Now, I don't mean to discredit anyone else's system of numerology. Uh, they all are valid. I have studied more than 300 of, the, of them, but at this time I'm just going to speak only about two of them, and that's the two that I just mentioned. Uh, one particular system of numerology deals with uh, the numbers 1 through 8. The other system of numerology deals with the numbers from 1 to 9. Okay? And I really like to bring this out because there can be a little confusion as to what is what when people buy certain books. Or, and they say, well, uh, that brother, he, didn't, he, he was off because this book is saying something entirely different than what he said. All of them has a, has a place and has a system. I look at numerology as being akin to music. You have a musical scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, si, do. Okay? And you have, you have a seven count system of numerology, an eight count system, a nine count, a five count system of numerology. There's all various forms of numerology. But I, I say this, all of it is drawn from the same source. Okay? And when you understand that, then you can better understand and may probably want to study all of them. But the basis of knowing numerology is first knowing the numbers from one to nine and having an understanding of each of the individual vibrations and what they mean pertaining to uh, the, 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 the shape, the form, the symbolism, the sound. Uh, of these number of vibrations. And even today with the numerology, many of the uh, 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 numbers are assigned uh, planetary energies. Example would be the uh, number five. The number five has a very strong association with the planet Mercury. Okay? Number one would have a strong association with uh, uh, the sun. Number two would have an association with the heavenly body that we know of as the moon. Three would have an association with, uh, uh, with Jupiter. Four would have an association with uh, the planet Uranus. Seven with the planet Neptune. Eight with the uh, powerful planet Saturn. Nine with the number, well, that number being associated with the planet of Mars. Okay? And so all these um, uh, vibrations all emanate from the one. Everything is an emanation of the number one itself, okay? And that has to be uh, the sun, which is uh, the life giver for all of us on this planet. With no sun, no life on this, on this earth. And so all that is incorporated with neurology, okay? The symbol the geometrical forms. Every number has a, a specific ge geometrical form. For example, the number four, it would have as its uh, uh, geometrical symbol the square or the rectangle. The number five, it would have as its uh, symbol a, a five-pointed star. The six with a six-pointed star, okay, so forth and so on. The, the number seven would have as its uh, symbol the uh, triangle and the square, okay? Uh, uh, the, uh, the number eight would be with the double square itself, one sitting on top of the other. 
And so when you incorporate and bring these all together with the sound, the geometrical, uh, the geometrical forms, the music and so on, you can really come to a complete understanding of how life exists on this planet and how our ancestors developed all of these concepts and made them so simplistic that we can understand them to a point of advancing uh, humanity to a very, 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 very high degree. Okay, so that's the, that's the power in numbers. That's, that's the vibrations. And so that's why I'm here to share all of the glorious methods and ways by which we can incorporate and find out about ourselves. All right, and I appreciate that. That's, that's, that's great info. Um, now I got a question for you. I okay. Know you, I know you. Thank you. You, you know uh, you might get, get asked this all the time, maybe not. Numbers. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Okay. Can you build on twenty twenty. Let's uh, let's talk about twenty twenty <laughs> because twenty twenty was a very. Um, it was a very interesting year. It was a year which affected the world. The impact of 2020 was no joke. The impact of 2020 is still affecting people in 2021. Now, let's look at how we arrive in determining the vibrations for 2020. In that calendar year, that Gregorian calendar year, let me be very specific. In that Gregorian calendar year, 2020, we have a two, a zero, a two, and a zero. Two plus zero is two, plus two is four. Four plus zero equals four. So one of the vibrations for the year 2020 is the number four. Okay? Now, Right off the top, I can tell you, the number four is the most difficult of cycles that any of us can ever travel through. Why? Because the number four is a number that is built upon the element of Earth. Okay? The number four is a very demanding vibration. It requires and it demands the best of us because the number four is in, its, in itself is seeking to pull out those abilities which may lie dormant within ourselves. The number four is also a vibration that says that we need to prepare. One of the things that I did uh, before we arrived in 2020 was in 2019 I began to tell students and people in my consultations that they needed to prepare their life. The other big thing that I said about uh, 2020 is that anything, and I go on record of saying this, anything that happens on a major scale in 2020, especially in America, why do I say especially in America and the United States? Because the birth number for America is four, July 4th, okay? So that means it's gonna have even a deeper impact because America's vibration and the vibration of the, what we call the universal year of 2020 are both fours, okay? And so I say anything of a major proportion was going to be planned. Mm. Because the number four is the number of planning. The number four is the number of the architect. And we know that the individuals, the, the architects of this world, um, they use this in advance, and, and for they use this as a weapon. As a weapon. As a weapon for their whatever they want to do. Whatever the agenda that they whatever want. Agenda they they want to promote. And so the number four is always indicating and telling us that we need to have an advanced plan. We need to have four knowledge. It's a play on the number four, F-O-R-E, knowledge, okay? 
So the number four is a, is, is a number which uh, it requires persistence. It requires the best in us. It requires us to deal with the substance of who we are. On the other end of the spectrum, the number four can be so challenging that if you haven't been prepared to deal with it, it can be very de devastating. Mm. It can be devastating to the point it can send you into a state of depression, mm. which many people are still dealing with right still. now because of the impact, because they never thought that they would live life and see what happened. The number four can also be a very binding and restricting type of vibration if you are not preparing. See, the number four requires that if we are going to manifest anything, we have got to put work and effort into the manifestation of life. Okay? The number four deals with the four main elements. That's fire, air, water, and earth. So we have to deal with all four elements all at the same time. Okay? Now, that's on the mundane level. Let's take it a little deeper. When you look at the Gregorian calendar year of 2020, you see that there are two zeros okay, involved with it. Anytime that zero is involved with another number, like 20 or 2020, that zero enhances the power of that number itself. Of the two? Yep, of the twos, okay? Mm. Uh, the zero, when added, gives you, it's like, I'll give you a more simple example. You take the number one. You know about the number one. Number one represents beginnings. But if you add zero to it, it's number 10. Well, 10 is 10 times the power of one, mm -hmm. okay? Mm. So that means that's, that's some accelerated and some advanced situations and conditions you have to deal with whenever you are dealing with zero. Zero is like a primordial energy, mm. a primordial power. Mm. Okay, zero uh, can be uh, associated with the planet Pluto. And we know what happened when the, uh, uh, the bomb was dropped on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Okay, they was dealing with the atoms, plutonium, raw power. Okay, and so zero uh, 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 increases the rate or the vibration. And since people were not prepared to deal with the increased vibration, they fell into slumber. They fell into a negative state of depression. And you're referring to 2020. And I'm okay. referring to 2020. Okay? Mm. And so this negative state of depression that so many people have fallen in, they are going to have to work diligently and with a great deal of effort to come out of it. Yeah, like I was telling you earlier, I have people, and I, I would not even imagine, would, you know, get depressed, you know. Correct. Like calling me up and like, oh, so, you know, I'm dealing with this, blah, blah, I'm depressed. I'm like, you know, I, I couldn't, couldn't believe, you know, but on the flip side, when I'm thinking about, like, when this first hit, when the, when the big C first hit. Right, right, the big C, uh, right. The big C uh, first hit, realizing that all you could do is go outside in your backyard. Right. If you even have a backyard. Right. Or your back stoop if you're in New York or somewhere, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that's all you got. Right. See, I'm glad that you brought that up, brother, because... Four can restrict and bind and cause limitations. Mm, mm, uh, the limitations is because you have not done what was needed, what was required of you, or what was expected of you. Okay? And so uh, you have to respect the vibration and an energy of the number four. Now, the number four in numerology is what we call one of the power numbers. There are four power numbers. 4, 8, 9, and 22. But 22 is going to lead us right into the next phase that I want to talk about, 2020. 
22 is also a master number of vibration. So it carries a higher vibration and also is on another frequency. Okay? The, the 22 is simply found by dropping the zeros. What do you have left? 22 and 2020. Okay? So not only was 2020 a number four, but it was also a number 22 vibration. It was a master vibration. So that means there were some components within ourselves that we needed as individuals and collectively to master. Okay? And that required even more from us than of ourselves as a group of people. Now, a lot of people were, they were caught. They were caught hanging because, why? Because they did not have a plan. They did not have a goal. They did not have anything set in place. Now, both those numbers forces us and causes us to grow. So all of us was going through growing pains. Okay, so as I was stating about uh, additional insight about 2020, 2020 was uh, also a year that it carried the vibration of the number 22, which is the master number. Uh, 22 is dealing with the mastery over this physical and material world, the reality that we live in. We had to come to grips that we had to learn how to focus more, okay, grind it out, and learn how we are supposed to master this material reality that we live in, okay? That was the basis of knowing about the number 22 and its, and its power, okay? As I said earlier, 22 is a power number. So many of us who had those power numbers, 4, 8, 9, or 22, we had to deal with it. And if you weren't prepared to deal with it, how do you deal with it? Some of us went into depression. Mm -hmm. Some went into a state of shock. Mm -hmm. Some of them, some of us went into a state of disbelief. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, I can't imagine this ever happening, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, in my lifetime. Okay. I know I said it a bunch of times. Yeah, so <laughs> it caught a lot of people off guard. Yeah. Okay. But we have the power to see and to know. So here's a question, kind of, you know, going along with that. So individuals that, some of us individuals are good at adapting to things and going with the flow, regardless, you know, especially us black folks. Right. We've been, you know, for, you know, a hot minute, we just had to survive off pretty much nothing. Right. right. So naturally, we're survivors. You know right. what I'm saying? So, Here's my question. How can, how could the new, that, that number of 2020 for the individuals that embraced it and moved on, you know, forward from it and learned from it, got stronger, is that something that we could have, that, that could have advanced us? Oh, yeah, here? yeah, it, it, it definitely advanced. See, mm -hmm. four and 22 is all about growth. Uh -huh. Four is just a standard step by step growth. And 22 is like, it accelerates your growth, okay? And so that was happening. Those people who, who realized, hey, it's, there's something going on here. I got to step up my game. You know, when you stepped up your game, then you were forced to get you a, a, a budget book or a planning book and detail things out and say, okay, this is what we're going to, this is what I'm going to do, or this is what we're going to do. If you got a, if, if you're in a relationship or something. Okay, you gotta you gotta plan and you gotta work things out. Okay, if you don't under number four vibration, you're not going to meet with any sense of satisfaction. Okay, it, it becomes very hard on the mind. Okay, because the number four can be very mental. It's a physical force, but it also can be very mental as well. Okay. So that, so that, so that was the nature of the of, uh, of that number four year, and it was, it was, it was, it was very it was very devastating yeah, yeah, yeah. to a lot of people. And then, you know, four, four deals with debt. 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 D e p d. Owing. Yeah, like owing, and you know, monetary debt. Some people were even dealing with 
a karmic debt. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right? All right? And so uh, it, it became very arduous. It was like trying to go up a steep incline, you know, with 200 additional pounds on your back. Yeah, I got you. I got okay, so you, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you really had to put a lot of willfulness into what you needed to do in order to come out of it. Okay? And so uh, that number four, it's going to rest in the minds of people for a while. Okay. Now, in saying that, uh -huh. 20, 21, okay. 2 plus yeah. 2, no, yeah, 2 plus two, 2, 2, 4, 4, 1, 5, right? Right. That's the vibration. Okay. Can we talk about, yeah. can, we, can we talk about 20, 21, and 5, I guess? We'll yeah, 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 yeah. Right. We can talk about that because... See, there's always uh, this transition from one number to the other. Okay? okay. It's like I said, it's like, it's like playing music. You, you go from one note to another note mm -hmm. to the next note. And it's like what Brother Miles Davis has said. You know, you got to have spacing. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Between the notes yeah. in order to understand what you're playing. Progression. Right. Progression. Progression. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, when we went from four and we entered into five, it's a phasing out period. It just it doesn't chop it off. Now we in this. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work like that. We're dealing with vibrations. Mm -hmm. It's a, It's like a. It's like a, 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 a. cycle's going out. A cycle's coming in, and they cross paths. And when they cross paths, you join those two forces together: mm -hmm. the four and the five. And that four and a five represents a transition. The transition would be the number nine. The number nine is telling us those things that you did not do or you did not complete in 2020, you need to go ahead and fulfill mm. that requirement and that completion before 2021 ends. Because if you don't, your transition into the cycle will not be smooth. It can be interrupted. Okay, and so we come out of four, we move to five, we're dealing with nine. Okay, nine is also a power number, it is a high powered number. Okay, trying to do things under the number nine also without a plan, that's not the best way to go about it either. Okay, so this number, uh, this number nine vibration. It's affecting people as well. I would say on the scale of dealing with numerology, nine would be the nuts difficult number to do. Mm. So that's why people are still feeling that residue of effect. Because now they were dealing they were dealing with the four. Four is passing out. Five has entered in, but you gotta deal with a third number and that's nine. Okay? Now. Let's talk about the five. Mm -hmm. Five comes in and says, okay, everything's going to change in your life. Are you ready to deal with that? Mm -hmm. Whatever is toxic in your life, because that's what number nine represents, the cleaning out of toxicity. Okay? Mm -hmm. the, nine, the nine is like the healer. Mm -hmm. Okay? It comes to heal. If you're listening, if you are here or not, the nine is here to heal, okay? The nine is here to make that one cut that the Zulus talk about, mm -hmm. okay, in your life. You got to learn to put those things behind you. Nine is saying, okay, we know you went through a hell of a thing in 2020, but now you got to put that behind you because now you got to make some changes. You gotta make some changes in yourself, you gotta make some changes in your family, you gotta make some changes on when you look at the world, because everything out here is changing, and it's changing vastly, and it's changing very quickly. The past is the past, and let's get to work. Yeah, let's get to work. Mm -hmm. And so, the five is the element of air, mm -hmm. okay? So you may feel at times during this cycle, things are moving and happening so fast, you don't have time to breathe. You may feel like that. So you begin to feel exasperated. Yeah. You may even develop some sort of anxiety mm -hmm. complex. Okay? Wow. Now, 
when you layer anxiety on top of depression, wow. that's not that's not good. a good combination at all. And five is the number that deals with mental illness. Okay? So people really have got to step up their game and understand. That right there, to me, is kind of heavy. Because when, when, when them people went on Capitol Hill, it was January 6th, right? right? Okay. And in fact, you talk about mental illness and how I always felt that the, the, the higher the vibration of this planet gets and the, the more, the more, maybe it's the higher vibration the planet gets, the people on a lower vibrational will have a, a harder time exactly. to, exactly. is that, is that, is that true? That's true. Could you, could you kind of elaborate Yeah, on? that's true. Because see, you know, going back to the number four and explaining this, the number four, you know, it talks about growth. You had to grow. Mm -hmm. You really had to go through some growing pains. Whether you liked it or not, yeah. you knew it or not, you had to go through some growing yeah. pain. Yeah. Okay? And so when you talk about the lower vibration and people not stepping up to it, it will be cause for you to have to go through the same type of predicaments, the same kind of pain, the same kind of experiences until you learn that it's just certain things you really got to let go. There's things that people who walk around all their life, situations that may happen 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago, they are still walking around with it. Okay? It's like we used to say you got that monkey on your back. Okay? So the power of numbers is very, very explanatory. And so as the vibration of the planet is ascending, because see, every time we go through a cycle, it's just not a circle. It's spiraling yeah. upward. Yeah. Uh, it's expiring upward all the time. So you have no time to stay in the same place. If you stay in the same low sense vibration and this planet is spiraling upward, mm -hmm. you're going to have a very, very, very difficult time trying to function and operate gotcha. in this world. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ask this question. Okay. Because of the, coming into the age of Aquarius and uh -huh. everything we're talking about now, and granted, some of these people on this planet, please correct me if I'm wrong, uh -huh. this would be their first hurrah with this type of energy. Exactly. Is that, is that correct? That's correct. You know? For a lot of so, for a lot, for a lot, For a lot of the younger races. On the exactly. Planet. Okay. So, in essence, we're kind of like in a new, like, we're going to be seeing a whole bunch of different emotional uh, expression. Right. Is, is, is that, that, does that make sense? That's correct. You know, too. because this is new to. Wow. This is, this is all new. This is all, it's new because they haven't experienced it. They haven't experienced it before. Okay. So, these vi as I said, these vibrations are real. The yes, number of vibrations are real. And what I like about them, they explain so much. It can help to remove any fear, doubt, or worry that you have about your present condition or your, or your life that you, that, that, that's coming towards you. Okay? Yeah, you got me thinking now. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, it, it's like you said earlier, it's like, it's like, it's like chord progression. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, music. I see that. Yeah. And and like in in, in, in in like playing a guitar, you know what a palm mute is? Like when you mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like the big C and everything that's come along with that. Instead of it being a, 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 a chord, an open chord, mm -hmm. they're palm muting it with all this stuff, right? Right. Exactly. If all you musicians, that was a good analogy. Yeah, you don't get it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, uh, but, but that's true, though, right? Oh, yes. Very Because, because very instead of the natural progression that the, the architects um, know what's going to happen, right. there has to be some like, type of disruption to start that progression. Right. This is that's just to at least stall. Right. Correct? Right. right. Now, let me just finish okay. while I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Sharing with you, sharing with everyone about the number five. Okay. 
The number five is a vibration that deals with awareness. So awareness has to be increased. Okay? And the number five deals with the mind. So the mind needs to be expanded. Okay? If you're not expanding your mind and you're not raising your consciousness and increasing your awareness, where are you going to be? There's not going to be much of any place for you on this planet. Okay? And that's what the number four in 2020 was preparing us for. Okay? Now we're in this number five. So we've got to expand our mind. You cannot be the same person that you were last year. And you can't go into the next year, 2022, you know, uh, living in the past and thinking of the past. You've got to expand and increase your mental capacity your mental input. It's just like in, in the book that I saw here, uh, the Kibayan by the three initiates, the mind is all and all is the mind. The mind, yeah. Okay? And everything begins with a thought. And also what I'd like to say in addition to that is that we need to be very careful about our thoughts. We need to guide our thoughts. Our thoughts can be our navigators. That's why like, one of my uh, big sisters, priest, Sister Grand Mont, she always says that now is the time of the mind. To, you don't have to do, like, if you're dealing with metaphysics, you don't really do have to do so much with the rituals and stuff because right now it's a mind thing. Exactly. So it's you don't have to do all that, cutting up and cutting mind. blood and all that stuff. You put it here. You put it here. Exactly. It's the mind. So we need to because expand the mind. Exactly. And so you got some people who are out here that are magicians mm -hmm. that play mind games with yeah. people. I'll give you a perfect, a perfect example is the past president. He was born, if I'm correct, on the 14th. Mm -hmm. Okay, one in four is five. I read him immediately. I said, this guy, he's a magician. Yeah. <laughs> and he played, the, he played the role in the game of the magician. Sure did. You know? At, at one time I said, well, one day he's the Riddler, the next day he's the Joker. Okay? Yeah. So, and so that's, that's who he was. He was a magician. But he was a magician because he knew how to draw in and attract. You see, five is the number of attraction. It also magnifies things. He can take something and can make it bigger than what it is. And he was the 46th president, too. Yep. Nine. Nine. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so... I didn't have any problems with him because I understood what he was, who he was, and what he was doing. Gotcha. But I realized that in conversations with people, they were going to a 30-minute tirade talking about this person. Yeah. And I said, well, he didn't really work his magic <laughs> on you. He you in. Yeah, because he's got you talking about him. <laughs> okay? So that's, that's, that's the power of the numbers and the vibrations. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a time that through our thoughts, we can really cause things to be attracted to us and we can really manifest things on a non-physical level as well as the physical level mm. during this cycle. That makes so much sense. Now. Okay. I, and, I, and everything you're saying, I've literally been feeling mm. it. Yeah. You've just been giving an explanation to it mm. even more on a, um, a, a scientific, a scientific yeah. level. Yeah. And five, even on, even on a graduated level, it deals with the etheric realm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, if you look at the... Um, uh, at the element that's uh, well, the element is is air. But when you look at the uh, when you look at the metal that's associated with the number five, it is that of mercury. Mercury is neither solid or liquid. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that's the energy that we're dealing with right now. It's neither solid nor liquid. So we have to be very mercurial. We have to be very uh, etheric in our thinking. We have to be very fluid, fluid. in fluid. our thinking. So that's one of the things that I'm that I say to people, whenever you're dealing with the number five, make sure that you're dealing with your mind, but you're also dealing with things of the body. Get into yoga, get into qigong, tai chi, whatever. Keep your body as flexible as you possibly can throughout this cycle. And you'll find that your awareness on many levels will increase. Okay, and you'll be very fluid. You won't feel stuck in a situation that you feel like you can't get out of. Because you can, but you gotta put your mind to it. 
My mother used to say to me, son, you're going to do anything you want to do when you put your mind to it. Okay? So, that's, that's, that's the basis of the number five in 2021, and that's where we are right now. Hmm. Okay? Well, I'm going to say this, because I know that you're going to be right here on April 11th, right? April 11th. April 11th. Um, you remember the time? Like a, uh, I think it's two, from... Two to three, is that right? Uh, I think it was from four to five. Four to five, okay. Four to five. Don't get me lying. We're going to um, definitely have, you know, a, a flyer and proper... I'm going to look it up right now since we are here. Just so we can... we on camera. You know what I'm saying? We can find out exactly the truth. Uh, you said four to five, right? Yes, okay, four to see. five. As we speak, going on with family, I want to give y'all some actual facts and verified information. And the brother's right, four to five. That's Sadiq's Greek flow. It's uh, going to be, he's going to be lecturing from four to five p.m. at Sadiq's Beach Group on April the 11th. And um, I'm going to, I'm going to, we're, going to, we're going to save some more good information. Okay. So then, I look forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I look forward and I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, you know, it's a bad day. I appreciate you. You know, um, you answered a lot of my questions, things I was feeling that, you know, you gave me a lot of confirmation in, yes. in a lot of okay. ways. Mm -hmm. I'll be honored, you know, I'm Sagittarius, you know what I'm saying? Okay, you know? yeah. So okay. I'll be like, you know, I'll be, I'll be, shh. Okay. <laughs> if I may ask, if you just give me what date you were born on. 12-16-75. 12-16? Yeah. Oh, well, you, 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 you the spiritual investigator. That 16 is a 7. Yeah. And the thing that I'll say to you, uh, more is that you need to develop the ability to see things before they happen. Okay? You do that, your life will be such that you won't have any problems or difficulties. Mm -hmm. You'll know about things before they happen. Right. And then you can make the choice and decision of how you're going to bend it this way, move it this way, and shape yeah. it that way. Okay? That's the, that's, that's, that's the nature of the number 16. <laughs> okay. Hey, hey, you see, hey, see how you have it now. Just imagine when you're sitting with this brother one-on-one -on -one, and you got all this knowledge and you're trying to learn about self. Cats like brothers like this right here, they're masters. They're here for you. You know what I'm saying? Where can they reach you? How can they, the best way they can contact you if you want to do like consultations and stuff? Okay. Uh, and I'll, best, put it, I'll put it on the description. Yeah, you know? the best way is the uh, Vibration Society at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And then my name, Lavelle, L O V E L L, Rouser, R O W S E R. I'm on Facebook. And then I have a Facebook page called the Society of Numerology. And I have a wealth of information that I have posted over the years. I don't cut and paste everything I write from inspiration and research and study. Okay? Brother, I, I, you know, I, I've been blessed to have some really great guests recently, and man, I appreciate you so much. And I, I'm going to we're gonna have to build. I'm a, okay. I, I don't know if I'm going to be a client or a student or whatever. But look, look forward so. to it. <laughs> look to it, brother. So, look forward to it. All right, everybody. This is a. Uh, I'm ending this with Brother Lavelle Browser. This was a wonderful, as y'all know, this is a wonderful, wonderful build. And again, April 11th, he's going to be here. 4 to 5 p.m. at Sadiq's Beast Road. Come on down. Because uh, you can go on a lecture and answer question and answer. Yeah, right? and do some question and answer. Yes, okay. So y'all y'all can, you know, y'all can ask the questions now. I'm done asking. <laughs> okay, good. Well, thank you. Right. I look forward to seeing everyone. Yeah. All right. Y'all right. be peace. And brother, peace. thank you again. Peace. <laughs>